So lo is this losers finals here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We're in losers finals now. Wow. So the winner of this will get to play Kiro, and either Josh gets his rematch, in which case Kiro will be facing a Pika, or Lo will make it to grand finals. Um, and maybe play Pika. Yeah, maybe do some Pika, but also Kiro could see a different matchup. You know, he has it could be a a matchup battle there. That's true. Fastball back air. Can you it back? There it is, Josh with the double up air fastball back air. Oh, low flying right in with a nair to even it up quickly. You can do some fun things when you're still invincible. <laughs> yep. Getting greedy there. Yeah. Could, didn't really cost him, though. Ooh, and Lowe tries to run in and turn around and up tilt. Yeah, maybe Josh getting a bit greedy as well. That up smash didn't seem like it was there. Oh, great rising there. I thought Lowe was going to get the hit. And Lowe kind of telegraphed that attack right there. Just it's like kind of long, slow arc onto Pikachu's back. You're, you're gonna, you're gonna get up tilted. Right. Another combo from Gark. Yeah. Let's see what he does to try to edge guard here. Oh, and he misses the back air. Just completely whiffs. I think it was in a kind of a mid percentage where he wasn't sure if he. Oh no! Botches the up B. I think Park maybe wasn't sure if he was gonna just back air or try something else into the back air. A lot of Pika Dittos at high level these days. You don't see too many Falcon Dittos anymore. It used to be a quite a common thing. No, I think the last like top, really top player Falcon Ditto we saw was in, like Snow Sub One, like Mariguas and Tacos or something like that. It's been a long time. Yeah. You know, besides me and Boom and Genesis Four. <laughs> but yeah, it, you just don't see it very much anymore. Maybe if Boom and Alvin meet again. Low just did he just get an up smash and kind of no Not follow up for that, right? Oh, and Josh ran, tried to run in. Another bad dash attack. Too many opportunities to, to do that, like the quick attack across the stage to gain space. Oh man, Park's so, just giving Low a chance here. Yeah, he really is. He let him back in this, and it'll be very difficult. But Low could bring this back. Low's got some big combo ability. Uh, he knows what to do if he if he catches Park with the wrong thing. So Park's got to play very carefully. Really right, going just, in with an up air, low percent is not good for low. No, yeah, and there, Bark really just needed anything but an up air or an F air, obviously. Just kind of nair, dare, bear. Some kind of air. Some kind of air. Uh, all right, so we're seeing a, a run back of that. And low, really uh, looking like a Pikachu player today, right? Yeah, it's weird. I didn't know he played Pika. Yeah, I know he likes it for the Ditto, um, but we've seen him use it against Kirby as well. And then against Falcon also. Yeah. Surprisingly. Lowe's a Pika main. Lowe, maybe uh, you may be able to consider him a Pika main now. I know, you know, all that crap he talked. Yep. Hey, if he doesn't want to hear it, he doesn't have to play Pika. <laughs> Nothing wrong with being a Pika man. Yeah, Pika's easy. <laughs> How many Pikachu's I lost to at this tournament? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and 
Josh falls right into that turnaround up tilt. Good recovery though. It's dead even right now. Oh, and he runs out with a nair. Hello, first stock. The Pika main. <laughs> It was interesting the positioning that he used that nair. He actually did a like kind of running plat drop from the side platform and positioned that nair to go off the stage. So he was covering, uh, it's kind of risky, but covering more options than just the landing on the platform or on the stage rather. Uh, Josh usually gets those grabs and like both players run in and grab. Yeah, he's very consistent with getting those. Oh, he finally got one though. He's good at doing it with Falcon too. Most Pikas lose that grab. Oh, he tried that. <laughs> the <Yeah>. same thing. <laughs> exactly. And Josh didn't fall for this time. Well, keeping his one stock lead. Um, I think that the Pika F Air can be a good approach in neutral, but you, it, it's percentage dependent, right? Because a lot of the time you will trade with a back air. Um, and if you have low percentage, you just don't want to you just don't want to try it because you don't want to trade with a back air. Or if you have high percentage rather. Right. Nice flat drop up air. That will not be enough because they're in the middle of Dreamland. Oh. oh, and Bark tries to put that Nair out there. That was really quick. Uh, definitely good thought. Single. Won't get away with it. Nice uh, low over commits a bit. Yeah, I think Josh tries to bait sometimes, tries to bait you into getting grabbed by putting out that forward air and then fading back, but low. So Lowe's managed to keep this one stock lead the whole time. Uh, we'll see if Josh can turn around. This is uh, extremely unexpected. <laughs> they both whiffed that uh, up smash. Low tried it too early, and Josh was committed to that uh, tech in place. Josh looking for a quick way to just end the stock. He needs to bring this back to even. And Low uh, positioning himself above Josh. Uh, not wise, because Josh will, will catch him with those up airs. When you're Pikachu, there's just like no reason to do regular ledge get up. He has so many options. Yeah, he really does. Unless um, you do regular get up to immediate up B. Ooh. Low, one big hit away from bringing this back. Yeah, I mean, a grab will do it. Yeah. Easier said than done. It is. Especially Bark is very good at grabbing a neutral himself. Oh, and that's so nice. A very good attempt, but Josh Low. Josh guessed right. Yeah. Low was able to up the out of it. Fine. That forward air pushing back toward the platform was just a really cool thought. Ooh, and Josh with like, some good DI. You know, they, they say he doesn't have a lot of DI, but he DI'd up and away there, avoided the grab, and now he's got a chance. Yeah, because the grab completely seals it right now for low. Oh, hard read, F smash. Josh did a very nice job dropping below that F smash. Ooh. Low is over pursuing. Oh, that down tilt could have been. Wow, and Josh is right in this with that. He'll do the it. The back air, yeah. gonna do it. Low takes a game. Uh, Josh, with a big try at that comeback. That yeah, I I thought he was gonna do it. Yeah, that furious little rush at the end. Uh, just not enough. Had that down tilt connected on the on the left side of Dreamland, this could have been over. Yeah, I thought he had it. So low, making a game of it. I did not expect him to take one of Pika Ditto. Yeah, very, very good at player. Really likes the Pika Ditto. I think he's really enjoying playing it at a high level against Bark. Up smash? Yeah, just goes for the grab. Yeah. 
That wasn't smash there either. Yeah, up smash would have done it, right? Yeah. I think he... Because uh, I thought it, that Josh was going to land on the side plan, and he didn't. Might have caught him by surprise a little bit. Low, another one stock lead. He likes to land on that top plat with forward air. A lot of players will use down air. Yeah. Um, like, the, like you saw him do just there, but he likes to do with forward air. And it, oh, Josh saved him, but then put him away. I don't think he was going to grab the ledge. Another missed up B. If a player is doing that ledge hop to a down air to the top plat, the positioning that you'd be in to hit them with a, a you know fading back uh, back air isn't the same position if they were to try a forward air. You'd actually get caught with a forward yeah. air. You have to be further away. So it's a good mix up. Yeah, and that won't be enough, but he's in a no jump situation. Oh, and. Oh yeah, I mean, it puts Josh in a really bad position. When, when Pikachu's that far away from the stage, yes, he can make it back, but his options are way more limited. Exactly. So it's kind of easy to just wait and see what happens and follow up. PK Thunder <laughs> in the background. What's happening? And Josh doing a good job of staying below him now and a down tilt to do it. Good He's call. Back. Oh. They kissed. Both putting out the F air. Wow, and that's what you're talking about too. Josh so good at getting those grabs. Yeah, he, he gets a lot of those. I mostly just don't even try and run in and get them like those. Yeah. He gets a lot of them. And Josh does that ledge uh, hop over there himself. And oh, that's a great up there. Double? Yeah, and that Nair, uh, Josh is far away enough to avoid the runoff flat up air. Oh! That back air was so close. Fast falls that down air in. It's dangerous oh, to try. Wow, so not shielding there actually just saved Josh. Low delayed that down air because he thought Josh was going to shield, and then he would just get a grab and yeah, throw and take the stock. But Josh getting hit by it actually saved him. Yeah. Yeah, End up losing the stock anyway. But. Yeah, but that's interesting that you say that because that's something that, like, you know, I think Pika players need to think about, especially that's, an, uh, you know, the next stage of that meta where if you know someone, oh, let's see what Josh does here. Uh, if you know someone's going to try to oh, set themselves no, up for a jab grab to pin you in shield, maybe you're better off just getting hit. Yeah. You know, the down air could be stale. All right, so low again with the lead and last stop. Let's see if Josh can, you know, activate turbo mode again. It's a grab, but he's not at zero, so he can't do nearly as much with it. Oh, and that uh, he's almost in range, but a little too high for the up tilt. Oh, that was a sneaky oh, up B. did not want to land on that side plat. He was going to come in with a back air and take out Josh. He didn't get this edge guard. Up tilt, nothing. And he just waited. Yeah, he waited a bit long, and Josh still alive here, but he's above low yeah. on the run, and, and that's going to One grab or back air away, and low goes up two to one. And low, beautifully positioning that back air hitbox. He knew exactly where Josh was going to land. Um, he was waiting below, just kept stage position. And finally, when Josh was trying to get Josh some looks, back. Josh looks tired again. Yeah, he, he looks a little shook, right? I don't know, like, we were both extremely tired yesterday, and he kind of, like, had the same look on his face. Like, he's just not feeling well or whatever. But low is uh, really showing... I mean, who knew? Who knew he was a Pika main? Yeah. I had no idea. All the online people were like, he always plays Pika. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he doesn't, but who knows. Jab grab? I've seen him play a decent amount now, but um, I didn't realize it was to this level, you know? Yeah, I don't think anyone did. Oh, that's a nice back air. Uh, quickly to continue that sequence.
Ooh, and low comes oh, right back. That was almost back. pretty cool. <laughs> See who takes the first stock this time. Oh, just missed the grabs. Josh yeah. got that back air. Blows off Stacey. Just goes back to the top plat. Pushes. Ooh. Mark pushes low in the corner, but low connected that up air. The bark off stays now. He gets the back air. So low for the third straight game, taking the first stock. Yeah, and I don't know why Josh tried to go to that platform with a nair. That plat drop nair just completely saved low. Josh is going to come in with a jab grab and take a stock. And now low just tacked on 47 more percent. Yeah, and it was such a quick plat drop nair that with was. that. And he followed up with a second nair. Whoa, and the raw up smash from Josh. Bart Sanchez. Low maybe becoming privy to some of Bart's tricks. He likes to retreat to that top plat from high up near the uh, side of Dreamland. Yeah, I mean, most Pikas do. Yeah, but with that single zip. Yeah. Um, just poking him with that F air. Oh, oh and that's, yeah. But a little bit slow on that up smash. Josh missed it. Now, low, not able to do anything. That up tilt, and he was, Josh did a high enough percent that Thunder off of up tilt took the stock. Yeah. So again, low keeping his one stock lead. And low thudded too, and Josh had a chance to catch him with something, and then he's able to get a shield out in time. Ooh, that's a good looking little approach there. This, with this matchup, you have like two modes. You have the, the low percent mode, and you know after that, it's like as you're playing against the Pikachu, once they're at like 30, 40, 50 percent, you have to approach them with like slightly different attacks because it's you know some things are better at low percents than they are at high percents. Absolutely. So I feel like after taking a stock, sometimes you have to like almost reset and go, okay, they're at zero now. So yeah. I have to go through all of my 0% stuff. Yeah, and I mean, people don't want to admit this, but you know, when they're at zero, it's like, oh, I want to catch a grab in neutral because I already know what I can do off that. Right. You know? And it looks like Josh wants to come back and take his first lead in the last two and a half games. Yeah, he's starting to look like himself again the way he was pursuing. Uh, he slowed down a bit there, but... Yeah, and Lowe's been very good to up B off that stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if, to see Josh start trying to adjust to that and already move uh, to the next spot that Lowe's going to go, the other platform. Yeah. Oh, wow, that was beautiful. Fast falls the fair, and Lowe was still a little higher above him. I don't know if it was with DI or what. He was just frozen in place, and it was a good read from Bark to know that he was in position for that up smash. And now he has his first lead since game one. Yeah. And he's just tacking on percent. Low hasn't done anything yet. Yeah. He's really using these F airs very nicely. He went for a jab grab. Josh is a little bit too low. Uh, maybe a little overzealous there. Uh, and that's going to be the stock, as good as Josh Last looked this game. Stock. Josh needs to take this, and Lowe's is much higher percent than he has been the last couple games, so not it won't take much. No, it won't, but Josh can't fall prey to a grab at 0%. Here we go. No, he doesn't go for the up smash. Oh, he is able to escape. Yeah, that was critical for Josh because... Up smash? He went for a dash attack by accident. Oh, nope. No good. Uh, this puts Josh in a horrible position. He's you know, not done yet. And low, he, again, the delay. Yeah. Because if he had gotten that grab, that was that, that was, was the that set. Was yeah, that was the set. Absolutely. And that is Josh actually is behind now. Oh, ooh, this the great up Because this was that was the first time he didn't delay yeah. the down air. Josh is able to get out and he reads the high recovery. It? And now I don't think it matters what Lowe does. No. Oh my goodness. And Josh, that up B was so clutch. The time of yeah. up B. If Lowe gets that jab grab, that's over. Yeah, that's it. And that's now we're over. in game five. And Lowe, you know, he's been so good with these. 
delayed attacks on Shield. Yeah. And that was like the first time he didn't do it, and then Josh was able to up B out. Man, there's just so much to this game. It's so freaking such a gorgeous game. Just being able to delay and push off platforms on Shield is just we just see players just doing these advanced things more and more. I'm at waiting like to see, every like, level. That's the second time Lowe didn't follow up with a fair. Because if Josh is going to up B out, if you're doing a fair, all those hitboxes are just out there, and I feel like you can catch them. Yeah, that's very true. First time he went for down air, second time he went for an up air. But theoretically, down air should work as well, right? Because I mean, they just last so long? Yeah, unless, depending on the, you, the timing, but maybe forward air lasts a little longer. Yeah, and Josh puts out a nair. Oh, and I think he wanted to grab, but you see the shield sort of pop up a few times. Yeah, you, got, you hate it when that happens. Yeah, I don't really know why that happens. Both of them just going for grabs and missing. The low edge guard, the runoff in the air on the side plat. He's taking a few stocks with that. Yeah. Oh, and that air beats out the down air, but. Yeah, he only got like one hit of it, though. He finally goes low, <laughs> and he gets caught with an up tilt. Yeah, and Josh is trying to make him think he was doing that thing yeah. where he baits him to go high. So, successfully done by Josh. Just missed the F air. Josh got a grab, but nothing after it. Yeah, that's what Josh wants you to do. Run in for that grab. Low not caught by it that time. No thunder. Okay. Yeah. Thought he might just want the percent. Yeah. Maybe he thought it wasn't safe. Doesn't Josh always think that thunder is safe? <laughs> yeah, right? Especially on edge guard situations. Now he tries it again. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes you're like, ah, they won't think I'm going to do it three times in a yeah. row. <laughs> well, he just hasn't really been able to reset here. Oh. Now he's back on stage. Yeah, now Josh was almost in a bad position there. Not a strong lead for Josh right now. A little too much delay there. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. I don't know how low got that grab. It's like Josh's grab went through him. Josh, or yeah, Josh ran forward and uh, I guess grabbed through him. I don't know. That low down, even at high percent, not enough. Yeah. That hesitation from Josh uh, led to that, but Low missed another another up B. Yeah, that's huge. Game five situation, you have a, a chance to build a little bit of a lead there. That's dissolved and oh, good nair. Let's see what he does in this situation. Low, yeah, had the chance to go high, and Josh called him out. Again, he goes high. Triple. Josh is right there. And Josh with a beautiful edge guard situation here. Low knows he's not making it back. Up smash, weak there. It's a strong there. Oh, and Bark faded away, thinking that Low was going to up the out. Um, and he didn't this time, but... I like to see that uh, evolution there. Up smash, yeah. yeah. Waited for the tech in place it. and up smash. And that was a very nice showing from Bark. Game five. So I think we're going to take a quick little break before we go to Grand